Can we pick up three wins on the trot and move to five and three and give ourselves a sniff at playing finals footy? Out of the middle, McRae to Swallow. Free kick Dunkley. A territory game, Bruce in the ruck, taps down. That's Trengove getting the ball, just sending it long inside 50. Uh, Collins is down there, he's bumped off the footy. A left foot snap from Crozier who had all the time in the world. And he's missed. I have not gone, it is east-west. Anyway, Bose gets it away, Greenwood, Bontempelli on the left, slams it home. And the Doggies fans who are in the stands, they can hear you and they're clapping their hands. Oh, Lacocious gets it out of there, Anderson underneath it, under the pump. McRae again, Baz, now Hunter, picks it up on the left, another one. They've got two. Cuts in board, Miller though with an intercept of his own. Where's King? Goes in that direction, one on one. Bloody hell, that was close. But right in behind him, as Ben King thumps it through the big sticks. The Gold Coast get there first late in the opening term. To Bontempelli, back to English. To Joe Hannison, sends it forward. Who's down there? Might have been Norton, Budrick, pretty good. Oh, just touched it on the deck. Hairball in a panic. Hunter picks it up, kicks another one. He's got two. The Dogs have three. And the Dogs add to a 14 point buffer. Johannesson goes forward, Buderick down there, Ellis, Crozier, another one, the Dogs have another one, and the margin is 20 points, bang, 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 late in the quarter, these goals came, shift the play and go long down there, Miller gets in front, able to take the mark, ooh, Day's just... Fan his face in itself in a bit of space. There's a, there's a hole just here. Just lead into the hole. Flanders. Sammy Flanders. Little bit of angle. Sneaks it in. It was wide. He's almost could have intercepted that Ainsworth. I think oh, it was Fiorini. Right foot snap inside 50 to the Bont. Will he go at himself or will he find an option? Need someone on the goal line here. Has he got the carry? Yes, the Bont does. And he extends the Bulldogs lead out to 21 points. Might be a game high. 22 points. Western Bulldogs lead at the break. McLean goes forward. Underneath it is Norton. To give the Dogs the ideal start in the third term and push the margin to 28 points. Aaron Norton has kicked it. English got it out, but it's only as far as Miller. Inside, 50, King. Oh, I thought he got blocked. Who's got this one now? Powell just steadies and finds Buderick in front of goal. Geez, he snapped forward, Buderick. Oh, gee, you can't be missing shots like this. He's shanked it to the right, but it's at the left, but it's enough to go through. All clear. He can. Goes along the wing. Rouse running forward. Big footy to win. Just got to get it on the boot towards Ainsworth. He can turn and go again. Got to hit up a man. King, can he get to it? No, it's Powell actually. On the left, he's got it. So back-to-back -back goals for the Gold Coast Suns. Just out of the fence. Oh, geez, Day had to stick the tackle on Dunkley. Bontempelli inside 50. Target was missed. Norton out there. At the back. Right foot snap from it. Lipinski. Slight opportunity to redeem himself. Flanders at the Powell. Powell can run in. Give it to Flanders. Back to Powell. One of you take advantage of it. Caleb Daniel with a high tackle. And Will Powell can put through the Suns fifth. And again, squeeze it back to 16 points. Not long left in the third term, you'd imagine. Next goal critical. Bontempelli sends it forward for the Dogs. Ballard's the last man in defence. Picks it up and it was smothered by McRae. What will he do with the footy? He'll go it alone. Oh, it was Dunkley. And he puts it back to 22 points. Just when you thought the Suns were a chance and that's late. That's going to hurt. 22 point lead for the Dogs. With a six goal third term. 
Got to just work our way back. It's four goals unanswered for a Gold Coast win. That'll be the first clearance to Lockie Weller. Sends it forward. Flanders. With the mark. Miller's pushed forward here. As a Sexton. I think Flanders would have had the journey. Sexton pumps it through. Perfect start for the Suns in this final term. From the middle again. It's English to Bontempelli. Forward again. Oh, this should be a goal to Bruce. He'll just run into 30. Closing. Got it. Gee, that's an instant reply. Again, English out of the middle. And they go forward again. And Norton, the astronaut. He's to put it out to 28 points once more if he puts it through on the left. It's never looked like missing. And you think that is enough for the Western Bulldogs now. Hacks it on the shoot. Fiorini can run in. Has to kick the goal. Had no other options but to kick the goal and he didn't. It doesn't matter. It's the full time margin is 26 points. And the Dogs with a huge win over the Suns as we slump to four and four. A lot of sloppy mistakes in the first quarter. Do you think that's why the Dogs got a big lead in the first and won the game? Uh, yeah, inside 50 entries were pretty average uh, from our point of view. We weren't able to get you know too many clean entries and you know it was obviously a very high scoring game considering the conditions but uh, you know they were able to take advantage of that early and yeah just put us on the back foot and we were never really able to recover. You had a good run in the third. What was driving you to get back in the game? Oh, uh, look, we spoke to the boys about, you know, we weren't necessarily out of the contest. It, it was it was fairly even. It was just, you know, they jumped us at the start and we weren't able to, you know, recover from that point of view. So there, there are some things to work on and they're able to just get a run on a couple of times that really, you know, that really affected us. As I said before, you uh, had a good run in the second, third quarter. What happened in the last quarter? Yeah, so the last, um, they, they got that run on that was... We tried to negate, and they were able to four on the trot, I think, before we uh, got the last couple of goals. But yeah, it's uh, it's 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 very you know frustrating from a coaching point of view. You get the first and the last, think you got a bit of momentum, and then uh, they're able to run away with it. So we'll work on that for next week, and uh, fingers crossed, we are we're good to go. Dropped us out of the eight. I don't think we were ever in the eight, but it dropped us out of the eight. Percentage down to 90. We need a 40-point win to get our percentage over 100 again. Oh, it's a Sunday encounter. A uh, massive game for the Gold Coast Suns. Almost a season definer. Out of the middle, it is going to be Wits. And Mumford and Big Mummy has crunched him. The long sleeves there of Toby Green, I think it might be. Bowes, Weller, McPherson, short kick, King. Directly on an angle. Oh, I think I've sprayed it. And he's just hooked it to the left. Little ball to Whitfield. Goes with the hands. Ainsworth cut it off. Squared it up. Found Flanders. And this guy has been important for the Gold Coast Suns of late. And he misses two. Ball didn't go in his area. Day got it down. Raoul picked it up. Raoul from 50. Raoul from 40 and closing. And Raoul's put through the goal. Matty Raoul. Take a bow. Jeez, the media all week questioning the impact of one Matthew Raoul. And already today, another contested possession in the midfield. Can I have no advantage now? I'd love that. Oh, Toby's kicked one, but jeez. It was still a cracking goal from Matty Rowell. Didn't have front position. Haynes had him there. Greenwood on the left. Greenwood on the left. Oh, my goodness. That would have been something. Typical Zach Williams fashion then. Goes across the goal. Ainsworth there. Anderson hacks it on the boot. Another point. The Giants one goal. F the Suns one goal five in this opening term. Swallow might pick this up. Does he have time to snap it through? He does have time to kick a point. So Contagious kicking from the Gold Coast in the opening term should be further in front, but it's a five behind lead. 1-6 to 1-1 one, one at the quarter time break. Sexton picks this up on the left, another miss. And this is now an issue for the Gold Coast. Miller. 
Can he centre it to someone in a better position? Or go it himself! Took Miller, puts it through! Finally, the Suns get their second off the boot of Miller. Let's have a look at this. The forward pressure, good. He was looking to set it up and then said, nah, bugger that. I'll kick it myself. Oh, good pressure on the kick, but Cameron with a nice grab. Probably got the distance on a dry day in the wet here. Difficult, but finds Kelly again, who ran forward. Josh Kelly's got it. So this is the difference. The Giants converting opportunities. The Suns not doing so. And it's back to six points. The difference again. The Giants with an instant reply. Miller out of the middle again. Long inside the 50. Haynes once more. Beat King to the contest. Outbodied him again. Got to the ground. But the Giants again with a relieving kick. Weller on the boot. McPherson. King's open. As is Sexton. And he'll run in and slot it. Three. 24 played second term. It's a two goal giant lead. Or oh, sorry, Sun lead. McPherson. Inside 50. King. Thought about going. Decided against it. Gee, I cannot see where I'm going here. Zoom out, please. Is this for dramatic effect or something? Ben King lining up slight angle. Does enough. They get it through. And that'll end the second quarter. It's the Gold Coast Suns by 18 points. Whitson Jacobs gets it down. Guess who, Raul? Inside 50. Flanders is down there. Free kick almost given away for a push. Fiorini, Miller. Now Fiorini again. Oh, he's got a man inside 50 on his own. It's the Ruckman Wits. Geez, had it just be better in the contest there. Draw the contact or something. Long way from home inside the 50. Ward. Tough kick in the wet. Directly in front though. And he's just snuck it in. It went to Ainsworth. Who spotted Flanders. And he marks. So Sam Flanders... Gets another one for the Suns. Giants are away. Well, that's a poor kick inside 50. Collins had hands on it and Buderick gives away the free. So lining up here. And the Giants get another. Zach Langdon. Again, the margin back to two points. 12 points. So margin out to 13. 5, 8, 38 to 4, 1, 25. From the kick in. Phil Davis got it out. Ben King on the right. Another miss. Maybe had slightly more time there. Oh, free kick. And it's Flanders again. Where's he going to spray it this time? Again to the left. And on three-quarter time, another behind for the Gold Coast. It'll be a 15-point lead heading into the break. I mean, time in forward half would have to be the Gold Coast way. Five goals, ten to four goals, one. Should have easily been further ahead of this contest. It's going to be a tough final term. They know the Giants will come, but fingers crossed we can uh, we can hold it together. Big final term coming up. There are puddles everywhere at Metricon, and the Giants out of the middle. Taranto run down. Day picked it up. Handballed into no one in particular. Might have to go get it again. Toby Green run down. Sam Day inside 50. One-on-one -on -one ball. Haynes too good for King. Oh, can't mark. The Giants are away if they get it through. Cameron, 50 from home. How will it bounce? Into the post. Nikosius is kicked to Swallow. Dangerous handball towards Buderick. And another one at goal is through. Margin back to eight points. Through the middle again. Go the Giants forward. 50 Himmelberg. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all unfolding in front of me, isn't it? Miss. 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 Ah! Got to win the next clearance, the Gold Coast. The Giants are coming. Kelly got it out of their wits. To Miller. Has the short kick. Finds Day. McPherson can run in and give the Sun some breathing space. Oh, inside forward. 50 to Boer. Jeez. 
Harlow's unsure. Can he kick it in the wet? It's going to have to be a massive kick. Directly in front. He's put it straight through. We're back to two points. Oh, Cornelio out of the guts. Fiorini, the spare. Oh, the handball to Ellis. Inside 50. And Williams cuts it off. And the Giants through the guts. Although, is it? Yes, it is. It was... Oh, no. They're on. They got men everywhere. Get him. Get him. Cornelio has put the Giants in front. Oh, my goodness me. They had men everywhere. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Just get him. Oh, no. Um, you were leading the whole game. What what the hell happened in the last? Yeah, well, they just they just stood up in the bigger moments, and um, you know there was a few critical contests we were unable to win, and they were able to take their chances. As was the story of the game. Ac inaccuracy hurt us. Uh, six goals and ten points. Do you blame the rain or the inconsistent kicking for all those points? And do you think it lost you in the first quarter? Yeah, one six in the first term certainly didn't help. We probably should have been further in front than just uh, just the five points. Um, there, there are probably a few opportunities we would have liked to nail. Obviously, the conditions were difficult, but you know, it's it's games like this you got to take your chances. And unfortunately for us, we didn't. Um, uh, one positive from this game, uh, Flanders, he's been uh, rising up the last few weeks. Do you think he'll become an asset to the team? Yeah, he's certainly been building each week. Um, would have loved for him to kick another goal, obviously, but uh, no, he certainly. Uh, doing some good things and we're, we're pleased with the way he's uh, improving.